Hello again to Rich Baum's YouTube channel. Welcome. And this is a real quick tutorial and a little backstory. Um, a gentleman in one of the Facebook groups, real estate groups, Theo, I think it's Mayer, uh, sent me a message or actually he posted on Facebook in the group that he needed something cloned out of this picture. It's basically the stuff on top of this dresser and we have the reflection here. So I went one further and took out this whole thing on the wall, but just to show you how quick and easy it is to uh, clone things out. Now, everybody seems to be on a bandwagon of sending it out to outsource, which is quite fine, but everybody should have the tools, the ability to edit yourself clone yourself do everything yourself then when you don't have time it's okay to send it out but when you're in a crunch it's really good to know it yourself and it's so easy so let's sit back and watch this and also remember if you love these free videos please subscribe to my youtube channel and use that affiliate link below at adorama because it helps me make these free yes free videos okay so let's get right into it so i'm going to utilize the different tools i have for these uh, these projects and everything is different and after experience and experience and doing it over and over again it's really quite easy to do so we're going to use several tools over here I'm going to use my um, spot healing brush uh, I'm also going to use the patch tool I'm also going to use my clone stamp tool and I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool right here. So let's start with the polygonal lasso tool and let's zoom in here a little bit right about there and let's break this down into sections. And I'm just going to show you what I start with. First thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to select here and I am going to draw right along this dresser because I want to keep the dresser there and it's super easy to do. Bring this here and then I'm going to clone out that bring it up to about here okay so let's try this and the first thing i'm going to true try to do is another tool called content aware because sometimes it works great sometimes it doesn't work but it's always worth trying it first so i've got my tool here my polygonal tool lasso tool already selected then i'm going to right click here go down to fill click fill content aware 100 percent normal color adaptation and click ok Let's see what it does. Well, it did a little better. Well, it, it made it better or worse anyway. So what I'm going to do now is hit Command-Z, go backwards. And what I'm going to do here is um, make this. I'm going to click Command-D for deselect. And I'm going to make this area, clone area, a little smaller. Okay. And I'm going to try that tool again. It just can get confused. But let's see what it does this time. And it's always worth trying it a couple of times. And I'm right-clicking Fill, and I'm just going to click OK, and let's see what it does. OK, it's a little better, but now what I want to do is I'm going to now take my Clone Stamp tool over here on the left, and I'm going to make my, going to use my, uh, my brackets to make it a little bigger, and I'm going to hit Option and on a Mac, and click right here so that's the source. And what I'm going to do is just take all this stuff out right here okay and again I've made it into smaller areas and I'm going to click here again smaller areas which are easier to work on and some things are more difficult than others but this one was certainly something everybody should know how to do because that is so simple and you can see what I did right there let's just get this here now it matched pretty well here Let's just now hit deselect, command D. And right now I just want to get rid of this. And I kind of see a little line of where it is I, um, I cloned out because it's not exactly the same. So I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to use my patch tool. And I'm just going to freehand it, make a circle and bring it over here. And there it goes. And I'm going to make another circle. Let's see if I can get these parts a little better. Here we go. There you go. Now, the only problem with the uh, the uh, patch tool is when you get down into these finite areas, it may bleed over into, you'll see right here. You can see it bleeds over. So I'm going to hit Command-Z, go backwards. So what I want to do now is go back to the polygonal tool. And I'm going to do the same part to this, the same thing to this part 
of the dresser. And I'm just going to go here. I'm going to use the clone stamp tool again because that seemed to work better. So go down and use the clone stamp tool. Got my circle. My, I'm, um, I forget what you call it. I'm just using this as a source area. Okay. And I urge you to play with this tool. You will learn and it will be so much. I think it's fun. But uh, most people think it's not. I mean, a lot of people think it's, oh, it's too much work for me to do. And I'm just keeping down going here. And the reason I use the polygonal tool is I just don't want to worry about having to fit it into a specific area. It will fit right into that dresser. And it'll be pretty darn close. And one more right here to get this right there. And there we go. Deselect. And actually, I'm going to go back into my patch tool. And I'm just going to soften out these edges so you really won't see it. It it fades them in really well so you can really not tell that you did anything. It's just a combination. If you do this four, five, ten times, you will find that it's super easy. Okay? So now let's go back to the uh, patch tool. And I want to do this side of the dresser. Actually, I'm going to do the whole dresser again because I left a little edge in there. Okay? And hope you're following along because, again, it, it is pretty darn simple and easy. And, again, I just break this down into different parts, okay? So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to source the left side because it will match a little better. But you'll see, and I'm going to go over that area again. And I'm sure I'm not going into this in depth enough for many of you, but you know what? I think you can figure this out on your own because I can't do everything for you. Okay, now let's deselect that. Now what I'm going to do is go up into this top area here. I'm now going to follow the molding and make my own judgment of where, because you can't really see where it stops and where it starts with the wall with the other molding, the other uh, corner of the wall. But right here, okay? So let's go there and let's just now take the ceiling with my clone, clone tool. Let's go here and I'm just gonna go on this molding over here and bring it back into here. And I'm just gonna bring that up there. You can see that did a pretty good job, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm basically using the source as the other crown molding and then doing this freehand myself. And you can see there it did a pretty good job if you zoom in. And for a piece like this, it may be better for you just to zoom in really far. So let's just deselect that. Now this is where this uh, con this is where the uh, patch tool is going to work great. I'm just going to now bring it over here. And there's that. And bring it over here. And it will just feather it in a little better than using the clone stamp tool. And if you're wondering why I don't use the clone stamp tool in Lightroom, it's because it sucks. <laughs> and if you have experience using it, you'll know. Every so often I can use it. Okay, and I'm just going to go one more little piece here. I'm going to make this a smaller piece right here and I'm just going to feather this in, bring this in a little more. Okay, now this is not going to be perfect because I'm just doing a quick tutorial so you can spend as little or as much time as you want. Okay, I'm just going to feather that in there. Now let's take these polygonal tool again because I like these polygon the polygonal tool because it's just straight edges. And that works best for this kind of a thing. Now I'm just going to bring this all the way down here, here. Okay. And now I've selected that. So let's do what I did at the very beginning. I'm just going to hit my right click, fill, and content aware and see how this does. See, there it worked perfectly. And that is the beauty of the content aware. So I'm going to show you this again. I'm going to right, got my uh, polygonal tool selected, right click inside the selection, and I'm going to fill, and it's going to be at the same settings as before, okay, and there it goes. Just, it, it, 
is a wonderful tool when it works. Now, the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my, my clone stamp tool to get rid of this area up here. Okay, and then I'm going to deselect, and I'm just again going to use my patch tool to feather it out a little bit more. And again, this isn't going to be absolutely perfect, but you know, it'll be darn close enough. Okay, there we go. And I'm bringing this to the source area over here. So look what we've done here. Now, it doesn't look really good at the bottom, but let's just take care of that. And this part of it now is super easy. I'm going to use my polygonal tool again. And I want everybody to know, you know what, it's taken me a few minutes to do, but it's really not that hard to do. Okay, now I'm going to use my patch tool. I'm just going to bring it over here. And there we go. And it faded in really, really well. Now you can see it down in the, in the uh, cabinet right here. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for this tutorial. Now let's go into take out the reflection in the mirror, which is actually really easy polygonal tool and you see why I zoom in is because it's easier for me to make finite or very minor uh, really uh, minor I mean very touchy um, area selections okay so now I'm just going to use my my patch tool I mean my uh, yeah my patch tool and I'm going to bring this up here and bring this up here and you can see one two three uh, didn't do a very good job. So now what I want to do is I'm going to try my, um, I'm going to go back to my polygonal tool. I'm going to do that content aware fill. Let's see now, does it work? Eh, still having a little problem. So let's try our last tool. The, um, this is going to work really well. Let's just now take our clone tool. So it's basically just experimenting with different tools. Let's go again here. And that worked really well. So, whoops, I went a little bit overboard there. Okay. So now let's deselect that. And you could use the, uh, you got a little, you can see a little line there. So it's not always perfect, but it does a pretty darn good job. Just bring that up here. Now let's go down here and let's get rid of this cable. So now what I'm going to use is the spot healing brush tool. I'm just going to hit it once here, over here. Oops. Hold on a second. Something's not working. I'm going to hit deselect because I had something selected and it wasn't working. So let's just go there and one more time. And you can see it's just I'm freehanding this. And this tool on these kind of cables works really well. Okay. And these tools are only so smart. So cut them some slack. They're really overall just amazingly great. The content aware tool is, is fantastic. And I can straighten that up a little bit. And now let's look, let's zoom out here. And I think you'll agree, um, boy, it's really good. And let's even zoom in a little bit right there. So it's not perfect up here, and you could go back and do a better job. I could actually, let's just do this here. Boy, it's making this video a little longer. But let's just here now take the clone stamp tool and clone in this side a little bit more. It looks a little more natural. Ah, I didn't like that as much. I'm just going to go backwards. There we go. So to me, I think it's good enough. I guess I could also do a little more of the spot heel, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, patch tool again, freehand it, feather that in a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So again, this is Rich Baum with Rich Baum Photography. Please check out Shooting Spaces. Use my Adorama affiliate code, which helps me pay for these videos, makes my time worthwhile. And go get my course, my full residential real estate photography course in the show notes. It's uh, the best course out there, in my opinion, especially if you want to learn how to use lights, you want to learn how to do all this stuff. It's rudimentary and you've got me teaching you. So it's the best. So thanks a lot. I will talk with you later. Bye.